it's time once again for another edition of an award-winning podcast called The Square and the Round. I'm Square, Chris Kelly. There's the round. What's up? BB Shay. Good to see you. We just partied together last night. I know, right, man? Good time party. Yeah. Super Bowl party. To Have the it every hours. year. That's yes. it. There. Oh, my gosh. We, we spent more time there probably than cumulatively. If you added up all the time we'd ever spent together. <laughs> yes. In my home, we <laughs> spend time together yeah. watching the Super Bowl. <laughs> Won by the Chiefs, which you correctly predicted. Yes. We both had the Chiefs to start we the both season. Had, yeah, I was trying to find the old predictions. I think yeah. we both had the Cowboys, Cowboys. Yeah. as the NFC team, but yeah. no surprise that the 49ers were there. Right, and I believed the Chiefs would win. And even when the 49ers were ahead, I still thought the Chiefs will find a way. They yeah. just, right now, they're kind of like the Patriots, and I've said this, of the Dynasty Patriots because they just have the best quarterback, a great coach. Yeah. And they find a way. And it doesn't matter who's on that offense. I agree. They will find a way to score the ball. They figured it out. But if the 49ers could have kicked an extra point Mm -hmm. or taken advantage of the time during the game when Kansas City was scuffling up and down the field and not scoring. I mean, Kansas City went forever without scoring. And the 49ers didn't take advantage. They did not, man. A fumble on the first drive. A killer. And, you know, and, and the Chiefs gave them every opportunity to take advantage of that game. They could have been up twenty four nothing. Yeah, because they know? couldn't move the ball, like you said, penalties, yep. turnovers. It yep. was they were they were a crap show for the first half. Really, the first three and a half quarters, kind of a clunky game. It, it was. It was very game. boring. A lot of chatter about how boring the game was. I know. I was like, it kind of reminds me of that. Uh, the Rams Patriots Super Bowl a few years ago, mm-hmm. where I think the final score was like ten to three. Oh, 13-3. 13-3. Yeah, and then the yeah. second half was a completely different game. Well, and the uh, you there was a game. It's considered one of the best ever. You've probably seen the highlight. It was ninety nineteen ninety nine. The Rams won it. Tennessee stretched for the goal line at the very end and didn't, didn't get, get there. It. Yeah. Now the last eight minutes of the game, fantastic. Mm-hmm. But the first. Three and a half quarters, awful. I mean, it's like six three yeah. forever. And see, I'm sitting there going, "Is this whole something's going to happen? Like th- th- this, this game's going to be the worst of all time yeah. or the best of all time?" Yeah. Well, I wouldn't put it the best. I, I can't put it in the upper echelon of games, even though it was long. Yeah. And a good finish because forever it was so clunky. But yeah, you're right. I mean, the the play wasn't amazing. No. Um. It's not at even really any good. part. Yeah. Until the end, and uh. you know, and and my, you know. The 49ers score a field goal in overtime, and you just know, well, Mahomes is going to go down there and yeah. score a touchdown. That's it. You know? He and took control. He, he started did. running the ball himself. He's going to be either the best or second best quarterback of all time. Yeah. said and done. And a he may of, be the best. A lot of people saying the best right now. I can't go that far because Brady already has. He's not mm-hmm. there yet. Yeah. Because if he got, if, if there, you know, if he retired tomorrow for uh-huh. whatever reason, I don't think you could say he's the best because he has, you know, less than half the Super Bowls that Brady has, but he's got another ten years to go, or maybe more. Is he the most talented? He might be. Okay, because when you see Brady play, Brady was so efficient mm-hmm. and got more out of his talent, I think, than anybody. Because he wasn't great coming in, and he worked so hard. Yeah. But yet Mahomes has been able to take all that talent and corral it and really figure it out, and he's so spectacular. Yeah. And, and when he Goes back to pass. I mean, the play, everything can be breaking down. He'll figure it out, figure out a way. Whereas uh, I think Brady was more methodical. More uh, yeah, on absolutely. Point and yeah. So he's more fun to watch. And yeah, he's more athletic. Mahomes yeah. is. Mahomes is unbelievable. And, and Mahomes does make stupid plays. He does. But he makes up for it at the yeah. end of the game. Like well, there was a, there was one time where he was about to get sacked. Yeah. And he just threw the ball with both hands. Didn't even make it to the line stupid. of scrimmage. Stupid. And that cost him more than if he just yeah. went down. Yeah. You know. That's dumb, but. You put up with that because he's so good on the Absolutely, other side. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, you just—I mean, that's all there is to it, you know. You like that pizza dip, didn't you? Oh my yeah. gosh, yeah, dude! There you go. Three <laughs> servings of that—that <laughs> was good. I, I love, you know, I, I got my that. belly full the uh, last night at your it. party, I and I it. had a blast good doing it. Good for you. So, that's yeah, how yeah. it should be. Yeah. exactly. We're doing today. Now, is it what? What else is now? Are you in like a lull because there is no football? Do you, well, you hate know, that? baseball starts next month. Yeah, which I'm happy about. You got your Oscars. Going to be doing some traveling. Got mm-hmm. got the Oscars coming up. Yeah, the NBA is kind of like in full effect right now. So I don't care about it. It's amazing how little about the NBA I know. Yeah, it's too, crazy. I and I used to keep up with it, but I have no interest in it anymore. I wonder is as you get older, does the NBA sort of go away? Because I used to like the NBA when I was teenager, mm-hmm. 20s, and then you got a little older and it's just like, okay, I don't have time for this yeah, one anymore. And I, don't I don't know, know what it is, but I feel like I'm doing the exact same thing. Just caring why. about it less and less. Well, it's a lot of young players. Yeah. They who get are, younger and younger. Yeah, they do. You're right. And, yeah. and, you know, I like it. I mean, I don't. I, sh- I can't even say I like it. I haven't watched a full NBA game. God, I bet I haven't watched a full NBA game from start to finish 
the last since Michael Jordan was in it. Really? Yeah, that's probably yeah. Mm. The, his last game. Yeah, oh, that was huge. Yeah, with the, with the Bulls. Yeah, it's probably the last because I watched that game against the Jazz. Mm. You know, when he made that last shot, and like yeah. that's it. That was a poetic way. He should never come back for the Wizards. Yeah, that was stupid. That was dumb. But when he made that shot, you're like, okay. I haven't watched a full game. I don't think since. I don't think I watched any of the now the Warriors, LeBron uh, against the Cavs. When they came up three one, that was a great series. A great series. I paid attention to that, but I didn't watch the whole yeah. game, start to finish. I didn't. I don't watch that. You know, I think when LeBron eventually retired, he may never retire. <laughs> uh, I think when he eventually retires, man, the NBA is going to be in a weird you place. Think? I really do. Do you think it's because a lot of the players now are from overseas? They're not. You don't see them in college for four years and. I mean, LeBron, you didn't see either, but like mm-hmm. a lot of the players, you know, Jokic is so good, yeah. and Luka Doncic, they're yeah. so good. Does that disconnect for us? In I don't think so. No, no, because I, I think I don't think there will ever be a time in the near future that I can see where another country other than the U.S. will be the basketball powerhouse. No, I, I think, agree. I think you, but do you think you, you're asking? Is there a disconnect? Well, I just think that uh, you know, it, uh, in days, many in years ago. You hear about these products, even um, guys that go through college, you see them for a few years, uh-huh. but you still do. Then they go to the NBA and they're the stars. Now it's just a guy you've never heard of before from a different country uh-huh. and he's boom, put in the league. Yeah. You know, like um, Wim Benyama, you know, exactly. Yeah. He great, came out of nowhere, came out of nowhere. You never hear his name yeah. before. All of a sudden, okay, he's the greatest, you know, rookie and you see him, but I don't have a connection to him yeah. like I would with somebody who has played college or that I've at least heard of here in the United States, you know? And do you think, and that's a good question, that's a good point, something that I've been trying to figure out is do you think that's the reason why the NFL stays so prevalent is because it's mainly American? Yes, I And do. we part see these it. guys come up it. through college. I mean, it's incredibly exciting. It's a yeah. great game. Yeah, I think that's part of it. I think that's uh, a reason that baseball, it used to be mm-hmm. baseball was mostly American guys now. Yeah. It's from Asia. It's from yeah. certainly Central America and South America, and it's like it's not it's not the American sport anymore. Yeah. Same with uh, well, like hockey. We've never. I mean, it's big here, but not nearly as big because all the players are from Russia and Canada. Yeah, you for know? sure. Yeah. I mean, some from America certainly, uh-huh. but I think that eats away at it a little bit. Now, it's not the only thing, yeah. of course. I don't know. I just think the game of basketball. It's it's not exciting anymore. There's really nobody taking over the game. Maybe you know right. what I mean? Yeah, I, maybe I, like, you're right. The way LeBron captivated the game mm-hmm. and won consistently yeah. year after year after year, I don't think that's – I think we're far from that happening again. And the uh, with the football, it is – I mean, that's exciting. That yes. is America's sport. Yeah. I mean, there's no question about it, and that that is huge. I yeah. mean, it's, it's so exciting is what it is. Yeah. I mean, most – even though that Super Bowl wasn't good for three and a half quarters, the end and the overtime is exciting. It's great, you know? yeah. That's, that's and now that's we cool. have a new dynasty. I agree. That is we a have dynasty. A dynasty they've won, it, they've won three out of five, and they've been to like six AFC yeah. Championship games in a row. And now yeah. it's going to be who can beat the Chiefs. And will it come? Do you think the AFC has a better chance of beating him or the NFC team in the Super Bowl? I think the AFC does. Absolutely. Better yeah. Better quarterbacks. AFC, 100%. Cincinnati, yeah. the Ravens. I think they're better quarterbacks, yeah. better team. Even Herbert with the Chargers. And, and I could see Mahomes' career being a lot like Brady's. Like eventually there's going to be a lull. Yeah, but he's gonna stay around. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? He's gonna always kind of be in that conversation. Well, that's the thing I, about Brady was early and late. Yeah, exactly. I feel yeah. like that it's gonna mimic that to some Maybe. point. Maybe you're right. Like like later on in Mahomes' career, whether he moves to a different team mm-hmm. or stays there, they're gonna start compiling mm-hmm. a better team around him. So over under Super Bowls one for Mahomes five over. You go, go over five. Yes, I think he'll win over five. I think he's got two more at least. Well, that'd be five. Yeah. So you think he's going to six? Yeah. Uh, I could see that definitely. Man, that's, I mean, he's twenty eight. Yeah, and he's already got three. And, and for years and years, it was like nobody ever won more than like, I mean, Montana won four, yeah. Bradshaw won four. It's like that's it. You nobody's mm-hmm. going higher than that. And then Brady went to seven. Yeah, won, I mean, won seven out of ten. You know, he went to ten Super Bowls. Unbelievable. That is crazy. And he's already been to five Super Bowls, right? Six. Yeah, the five. They've, they he's been to five. They have they've right five Super Bowls for Mahomes. They've won three. Yes. They lost to Tampa Bay. Uh-huh. That's it, though. No, he's been to four. Four. four he's been to four Super Bowls and won yeah. three of them. Yeah. But he's been to the AFC Championship game. That's for crazy. Years. Now, this is completely away from sports. Yeah. But you, I love this. You had a, a, a listener, a podcast listener. Yes. Suggested the top five. This yes. Week, which I love. Uh-huh. It was, because uh, we've done, like, you know, some movie stuff, some sports stuff. Yeah. And then it was, what top five uh, 
talents do you wish you had that yes. you don't have? So, yeah, this was recommended by Christine A. That was very smart. Uh, very good. And I think this might be able to be an opportunity for us to, you know, shed some light on ourselves personally, things that we wish we could do that, you yeah. know. We... What talent do you wish you had yes. that you don't have? Yes. Or, well, you go. You, you go first. What... My number five is going to be dunk a basketball. That's good. If I could, you know, there's something about being a short, chubby guy yeah. that I just want to walk into an open gym one time yeah. and just yam that thing. Do you, you know think I mean? that's a big deal? Do you, I, I never, I mean, I don't know about that. That doesn't do much for but me. But you're 6'6". You're six, six. Yeah. You, you can dunk a there ball. There was a time. There was a I time where dunk, you could yeah. dunk a ball. I may be able to. I haven't, done, I haven't tried in a yeah. while. But I used there was a time when I was like in high school I could dunk a basketball. Yeah. I bet you could go to a court right now. Yeah. And dunk a ball. You think? I think you could. Boy, that'd be something. As good a shape as you're, as you're in, you, you, I, you feel like you're at peak physical condition in yes, your life? I feel like, I hate to say this, but I feel like I'm in better shape than I was when I was yeah. 25. I feel yeah. like if you you could, go, maybe not first try, yeah. but give it a second, I bet yeah. you could dunk a ball. Wouldn't that be something? Yeah. I should try. To I think dunk, you should try it out, yeah. Dunk a, not today. I'm yeah, so not, tired. <laughs> I'm so tired. I you just know, maybe party. after the gym, you, yeah. know, you get limbered up. Yeah, but to not. I can't do it. But yeah. I w one of these days, I should try to dunk about There was yeah. a time yeah. I could do it. You should yeah. try to video it. Yeah. Oh God, I, 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 that's that was my number five. I want to be able to video things. Video I can't the, video. No, I'm just okay. I, I'm, <laughs> really, but, I never post anything. I don't know how to use yeah. social media yeah. at all. I could never post that. What about? Uh, I, I want to be able to dance well. I've never been a good dancer. You that's know? a. That, I, I, a lot of people want that. Yeah. That's something that I've never truly understood. You don't care about why being... people want to be able to dance. I think that dancing is such a. It's such a spectrum. Mm -hmm. I don't really think there's a, a such thing as a bad dancer. Well, I'll tell you why. Well, when I go out, like if I what I like usually will go out and sort of make a fool of myself. Yeah. You know, dance and it's like, oh, okay, you know, and it's it, but it's like you're so silly, you know, you look stupid doing it and but I do it or I don't do it at all. Like I'm at a wedding, it's like, no, I don't want to dance because I, well, I don't know how to dance really very well. Well, at all. I think the only thing that could classify a bad dancer is just if you're offbeat. Yeah, but I feel well, like that's tough to be that offbeat. What's your go to dance move? Like you just kind of vibe out or yeah, do I'm you terrible. have like a, I mean, I'm terrible. like you just, I just you know, do that, you know, the yeah, typical white yeah. guy, mm, yeah. Like uh, that's like that scene in Hitch where he's like, This horrible. is where you live, yeah, right? Here. Horrible. Yeah. And, and uh there have been times where I've been at functions, parties, weddings. Where a, a guy who can, can dance will get out there and dance, and people love that. Yeah, you know, I'm such a people pleaser uh -huh. that I would love. To, I love to please people around, me and by doing a good dance, because everybody's like, yeah, you know, they love. And I was like, oh, I wish I could do but that. What is a good dance? In I, I don't have a beat. I don't have the rhythm. Just in general, I, I got can't, you. I, yeah. don't, I don't have good like, rhythm. You at never all. try to like pop lock and drop it or anything like no, that. I don't even know what that is. I pop lock and never do that kind of stuff. Like, like a, like a ugh, no, God, I can't. Like, do. like something like that. I can't do. You that. don't bust that out. I can't even do that. You just did that thing, that worm thing yeah. with your hands. I literally cannot do that. I mean, I could try, <laughs> but it's just all it is is. It's really like something. I mean, it looks yeah. like I have like That's a mental a, yeah, issue. You know, like I'm sitting there. It, yeah. it, it's awful. And so I wish, I just wish I could dance. That's I, fair. I, 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 I would like to yeah. be a decent dancer. All right, what do you have for four? My number four, I don't even know if this is a talent. Mm. Maybe discipline in general. Mm -hmm. That is something I wish uh, I had. Yeah. Like the way, and you're a, you're a great, you know, <laughs> the fact that you have the discipline to, the fact that this party that you were at last night yes. at your house, yes. every single food you could imagine, pulled pork, <laughs> chicken nuggets, right. every type of dip. And I saw you go in your refrigerator and pick out a thing of carrots and celery. You did. Yes, and I was did. like, that's going to be his meal tonight. That's what I had. I, like, I wish that I couldn't crumble under that. There's food around. I got to eat it. That is hard. That's that a hard thing to That discipline that I wish I had, because I feel like if I could, if anybody could tap into that, yeah. there's no, nothing that you couldn't do. That's a hard thing. To it do. is. It's a, yeah. Some people have really good i mean i i cheat a little yeah. I, I did really well i was really happy with myself yes. last night and i respect the Thanks. hell out of that thank you because that, that discipline was... is is ridiculous God. to go to the gym every day well thank and you. do all that that's thank you. ridiculous you have to you know i have to get into like a pattern you have uh -huh. to you have to get into like where it's like if you don't go it feels weird you know what i mean yeah. if you don't if you ate a bunch of stuff it makes you feel awful you i know, got you kind of, where it's usually for me forever it was the other way around i would mm -hmm. just what you said you know yeah. it'd be like and I would always um, make excuses for myself, like, you know, it's chicken. It's Chick-fil-A. Yeah. It's chicken. Well, it's deep fried chicken oh, yeah, with, with and, sugary sauce. And the peanut oil doesn't make it any right. healthier. All, exactly I don't know why right. that became yeah. a thing. Yeah, no. Why did that? Well, and, and I want to ask, what clicked with you? 
what that made you decide like okay i have to make this change or i have to this mm. has got to be something that i have to do well i am uh 52 so i really want to live a long healthy life yeah. and really have uh, i really want to be healthy for a long time and i guess i i've, I've realized i mean i didn't feel i would feel winded going mm. upstairs and stuff yeah. like that you know so i really wanted to and like you know i play pickleball and i would yeah. feel if I play tennis or pickleball, I'd be, feel awful. Yeah. And so, like, I really want to do something. And so I did develop that discipline to go to the gym all uh-huh. the time. And then when I lost the weight, and, and then it feeds on itself. It's like it feels so great yeah. to lose the weight. Uh-huh. And now when I see food like that last night, I'm like, oh, I can't have any of that. Because so I go right back. I did mean, you did you have did you indulge in any of that stuff last no, night? No, I didn't have any Not of that. Not just stuff last just night. the celery and the carrots. Just the celery and the carrots. Golly. And that was it last <laughs> night. That was all I had. Oh, and that's... fruit. There was a fruit tray yes, there. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't even no, I just did. But then again, it's got to be moderation too, because it's yeah. like, well, don't you want some enjoyment of course, out of life? You, you know, know, there are some things you, you can. Know. You know, yeah. there's nothing wrong with having a steak. Yeah, you know, right. but that's it's got to be a moderation, of course. Yeah, that's the whole yeah. thing. But I'm so bad. Just the way I am. If I try to do something in moderation, it always goes overboard. Yeah, I got you. Know? you. And I never uh-huh. can yeah. just quell it. You know, yeah. I want to be a great baseball pitcher. I want to be able to pitch. Okay. Baseball. I want to be in the World Series. Yeah. If I and I wish. I mean, when I was a kid, I pitched and it was pretty good. Yeah. I wish I'd really developed that and, mm-hmm. and stayed with it, you know, and really tried harder yeah. at pitching. I, There's something to say about a great pitcher. Yeah, a they're, great they're the pitcher. smartest dudes on the field, bro. Yeah. And they've, yeah. I mean, you know, and I think I could have done better with that. I'm tall, I'm left handed. Yeah. yeah. Like, man, I could have done that, but it, I was too interested in just doing nothing. Could have been know? Kershaw, man. I could have been Kershaw. I, yeah. I don't know if I could have been that. Could have been Kofax. Or it's interesting how life goes. You know, my dad wanted me to keep playing and I was. Not that good. I was good. Okay, I was okay. Yeah. And then, but if I had really, like, really said, okay, let's do it all the way, could I have ended up literally in the major leagues, or probably not? Or do you go to single A baseball and kind of wash out and then try to see what happens? Yeah. Yeah. You know know what I mean? It's like yeah, that whole baseball culture is so interesting. Now they're all on the road all the time. Yeah, exactly. I mean, with with, with travel ball and U Triple S A and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, that's a whole. I know. That's a. But I'd love to be a. That's. I wish I had the talent to throw a baseball really well. How about number three? Number three for me is I. I want to know about cars. (laughs) That's number. That's number three for me. That's number three for you. I want to be able to fix a car. (sighs) I want to be able to look under the hood Mm -hmm. or hear say I got this problem and go, oh, dude, you just need to put a D valve in the fan belt. And it should be good. number one. I should re rank this at number one. That's yes. I want to be able to pop my yeah. own hood and fix the. Let me tell you an embarrassing story. Okay. Uh, a few weeks ago, I had to take uh, my wife's van in. What did. Oh, it, uh, it leaks oil, and the mechanic I always use. So I've got a thing that will fix that. I ordered it. He's like, just drop it by here. It'll take me five minutes to put it in. And I'm not even going to charge you. Just buy the piece. And, and I did. I bought it online. Yeah. Took it over there. So I pull in. And he goes, okay, pop the hood. And I looked around <laughs> like, you know, like I was just going to blink my eyes and pop the hood. This yeah. is how inept I am. Yes. And then I, I look down and there's the gas thing. And I've done that many times. So I, I'm looking near there and he's like, pop the hood. <laughs> What's the hold up, brother? And I was like, with what? <laughs> And I said, you know, the darn thing is my wife's car. Yeah. And he's I used like, to drive it's like this right thing. there by the gas thing. It's right beside the little gas, but I have yeah. to kind of reach around. Yeah. It's like not only. So I just said, I'd like to be able to pop the hood and fix the car. I should stop it. Pop the hood. I'd like to be able to pop yeah. the hood. You know? Yeah. Yes. I would like to look at it and go, oh, it needs this. I'm going to change the oil. You know, yeah. that kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. Wouldn't that be nice? You know, my thing is, is my, my biggest fear is getting a flat tire. Oh, God. Because I. I'm pretty positive I know how to fix it, but I know once I get out there on the side of the road, I'm going to just crack under pressure, Pill. and I'm going to look like an idiot. I had a flat tire 20 years ago and called 911. <laughs> I called 911. Yeah. What do you do? What and do you the, uh, well, now I have AAA. Yeah. That's what I well, do there now. You go. Yeah. But uh, at that time, I didn't, and I called 911, and the cop came out there and said, are you serious? And I uh, said, yeah, I don't really know how to do this. He's like, all right, I'll do it for you. He did it for me. And uh, I sat in the car. I didn't even help him. I did. sat in the car. Well, what are you going to do? Sit there and look at it? That's well, my thing, too. I know. It's when somebody's helping with the car. I'm like, I, 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 I'm, I, could, I, I guess no I could have held dude. the bolts yeah. for him, you know, like they in, in the, a Christmas story. <laughs> he felt like Ralphie. And Ralphie dad. holding uh, <laughs> holding the bolts yeah. is all I could do. But I just sat in the car. So my weight was on him. He had to yeah. jack up the car <sighs> and me. 
at the same time. And, and another one of my things is is uh, jumping off a battery. That scares the oh, hell yeah. out of I'm me. I'm afraid it's going to blow I'm up my face. I'm always afraid that I'm going to do something stupid and me like electrocute myself. Like it's going to blow up in my yeah. face. Yeah. I know. It, I'm sure it won't, but I never try that. I ne- and God, I'm ashamed to admit this. My dad got me a pair of a set of jumper cables. I still have them in the trunk of the car. <laughs> he got them for me when I was 17. Yeah. Okay. And when people say, as I'm in a parking lot, you have any jumper cable? Like, they need a jump. Uh-huh. I'll be like, oh, no, sorry. Because, because you're so nervous about it. I don't want to even. <laughs> that <laughs> makes sense, though. I get it, though. I know, because yeah. I, I would have to hook it to my bat. I'd <laughs> yeah. love to help you, but yeah. I, I'm not going to do that. I yeah. can't. I God, that's awful. Is that yeah. awful or what? I mean, you know. We should take these and start, like, trying to do this. Like, yeah, the, there we you know, go. You know, you can learn a car, yeah. you know. It's, Although it's, now, cars are so newfangled, like the mechanic I have that I love. Yeah. He said uh, the other day we were talking about maybe me getting an electric vehicle, which I wouldn't. But he's like, well, if you get one of those, I can't fix yeah. it. You know, it's totally different. But like my brother, he's he's the exact opposite. Like he's, he he's smart when it comes to cars. Really? Like he went to school for that. Really? Yeah. And he like I got a problem with my thing. Oh, it's probably this, this, and that. And then I was like, show enough. Well, they That's know exactly what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They know. exactly. They're yeah. really good at yeah. that. So that was your number three. Yeah, the same one as me. Trying to fix okay, a car, be able enough. to fix a car. Yeah. My number two is to be great in bed. <laughs> it just is. <laughs> I know I'm not great in bed. I think that's one of those things that no matter how much you practice, you really you either got it or you don't. I agree. I do. I know I'm not great in bed. And I mean, you know, I, that may coincide with your not being able to dance as but well. Probably. It's just not limber enough. Absolutely. I know? mean, it's perfunctory. It's yeah. fine. It's pleasurable. Yeah, exactly. I'm. I get pleasure out of it. Hopefully, my wife gets pleasure <laughs> out of it. Hopefully, some others have gotten pleasure yeah. out of it. But I've never been one to just like you know blow the roof off. The exactly, place. you're not bragging about it. You know? I don't think I have the equipment to, to do that. <laughs> Me I don't really do. know when I'm down Me there. Do. I'm yeah, not yeah, sure yeah. exactly what's going on. I don't really know. And I just wish once I could really like pleasure a woman yeah. where she is just like, oh yeah. But I can't. I don't know. You I, know, I think if you get to that level, you got just got to start porn. You God know well, I mean? you know. I don't know. I think some guys are because re- other people have so much better sex stories than I have. Too. Yeah. They'll be like, oh my God, this woman wanted me so bad, and we went and did it all night. I'm like, oh great, you know. And people, many years, I was just like a, sitting by a campfire when people would tell me their sex stories yeah. when I was younger. I don't even know if half of them are true. Probably yeah. not. But. I wish I could really pleasure a woman in bed. And you have you to know. sit there and try to make up a story that yeah, kind of, of course. The, that the, kind of like, acts uh, along with theirs. Like yeah. there was one time I was at a port of John. Yeah. Right. And it was like, you know, it was just instant connection. Exactly. You know. Yeah. Yeah. No. I mean I've had people tell me that they walk into a room at a club and just like look at a woman and then suddenly they're having sex in a bathroom. Yeah. You know, just within no. minutes. I don't have anything like that. Nothing like that. You know, somebody was telling me about uh having getting getting pleasured in a car while driving yeah. and all the other guys are like oh everybody's done that like oh yeah, right, everybody's yeah. done that yeah all the time <laughs> what? no no come on yeah. but i, I yeah. i've never I, i'm not good at it i mean i'm yeah. okay i guess but i'm not uh certainly i'd like to be a real talent exactly yeah, yeah that's I what i'd like focus on other things yes say yes yeah, i guess so right? my number two is kind of along those lines uh playing piano well that would be <laughs> that's my number one <laughs> really that's my number oh man okay. piano or guitar yes but continue I, I you know there's something just romantic to me great about walking into a mall yes or walking in, in somebody's Airport, home home anywhere down, sing a piano they're like oh yeah listen and then singing along when I, you yeah. know when i was a kid there was a guy that uh, took piano lessons i mean i knew him from kindergarten and he started yeah. early and i was like what a waste of time awful well by the time we were in high school he could play i mean yeah. he could really play and girls love yes. it they love it if you could play an instrument women well love that. yes i said piano or guitar yeah. either one and yes when guys walk through an airport and there's a piano sitting there and they just sit down yeah. and start playing it yeah my god it's just it's the panty dropper dude and even as a guy right. like i'm like that's dope like and to right. play it well yes. and you know get catch people's attention like that. I just watched that uh, thing on uh, We Are the World on Netflix. I watched it the other day too. What did you think of it? I thought it was great. Incredible. Great story. Incredible. Wonderful story. The, it's called The Greatest Night in Pop. Yeah. The uh, the assembly of talent on that stage. I don't know if there's mm-hmm. ever been a bigger assemblage of no, talent. No, I don't think so either. But uh, at one point, now, Ray Charles, who's blind, has never heard the song. I mean, he's he's got enough to know that his, he's got one part. Yeah. Well, he sits starting and starts playing the piano, and it's like, you're blind. Yeah, exactly. You, not only Ray- how do you play the piano, how do you play this brand new song you never heard? <laughs> like, I don't know what it is about black, blind people. Stevie Wonder. Him, Stevie Ray Wonder, Charles. Ray Charles, just could play the hell out of the piano, yeah. dude. You know the yeah. story about uh, Stevie Wonder is that um, he was at one point lived in the same complex with Shaquille O'Neal. And uh, 
Shaq swears that Stevie Wonder's not blind because they got into an elevator together and Shaq's like, I'm going to the fifth floor and Stevie just like hit it. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, in that documentary on We Are the World, Ray Charles said, I need to go to the bathroom. And Stevie's like, well, come on, I'll show you where it is. Yeah. He, so Shaq thinks, oh, Stevie can yeah, see. Yeah, He's just yeah. been playing this for yeah. all the... What talent. I mean, to play the piano while blind? Yes. but And, and not even just that. It's like, here's this new song nobody's ever heard that we've been yes. working on. Oh, play and, it. And, you, you know, know, I think what takes that up a notch is being able to write music yeah. oh my and God. sing it well. You know, that's a whole nother deal. But just well, picking up a guitar, just going, oh, yeah, this yeah. is a, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Writing it. a song. Lionel huh. Richie said in that documentary, he said to Michael Jackson, I mean, I could write it by myself. You could write it by yourself. Let's do it together. It's like, how? How do you write a song? And then listening to him talk about how they were going to structure yes. the song, yes. that was so interesting to me. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. You yeah. know, another thing that bugged me out about that, which is not really music related, is how they worked on that song through the wee hours of the night. It was like five o'clock in the morning and nobody looked tired. No. Everybody just, was just like, okay, yeah, we're here. We're doing it. I loved that. That was so cool. Lionel Richie hosted the, he got to a studio at 8 a.m. to host the American Music Awards that night. Yeah. Does the whole thing, wins six awards, hosts the show, gives six speeches, sings two songs, yeah. then leaves, go to record We Are, we Are the World, and stays up another 12 hours recording. How yes. are you not tired? I don't know what it is about that lifestyle. Like like Taylor Swift last night yeah. at the Super Bowl, and then she had to fly Off to Australia. Yeah, to go to a show, and I'm sure she will kill it tonight. Yeah, had just been in Tokyo the night before. Yes. I guess she sleeps on her private plane. Obviously. Not that I'm crying for them because yeah. they're all rich, of, of course, course, but yeah. still. I mean, I'm dragging here today. But yeah, I don't think I think people underestimate how hard those do people oh, actually agree. work. You know, my wife said while we were watching, they were, you know, my, uh, Lionel was like, you know, we're getting pretty tired. It's late, and she's like, well, boo hoo, you make millions. Like, still, <laughs> What's, the yeah. millions don't make it, so yeah. you're not tired. And that's the thing. Everybody in that room had no real reason to be there. Yes, that's another thing. They could have easily, like Skipped like Waylon it. Jennings. Yeah, like he, he called it quits after the Swahili. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Waylon Jennings quit halfway yeah. through. But I mean, those folks showed up not knowing what it was going to be. Yeah. That it was going to be this enormous thing. It was the power of Quincy Jones. Absolutely. And I guess Lionel Richie. And Richard. you know, being in the room and going, yeah. when is this ever going to happen right. again? You but, know? Yeah, but to even get them there. It's yeah. Like, you're going to make, because at the end of the night, after the, like for me, like, that would be like at the end of the Super Bowl, party saying to me okay now let's go do 10 hours of work exactly you know yes. it's like yeah how am i going to do that no so if but if somebody you respect like quincy jones you go do that i, mean, I would have gone to bed yeah just like they wanted to yeah. i'm sure yeah but they were part of something bigger yeah. what's your number one thing you want to do talent you wish you had uh, skateboarding skateboarding i want to yeah. skate be able to skateboard so bad to be really good just, at it because i don't think people really value Mm-mm. how talented skateboarders are i don't because it's such a yeah there's such a stigma yeah. around them because they're like you know good for nothing yeah. slackers and stuff yeah but if you really watch a skateboarder and Depressive. how talented that is yeah. it blows my mind and i want to be able to do it so bad i can't ever do anything like that no roller skating ice yeah. skating skateboarding yeah. nothing like that but I've never really felt like I uh, I've never felt like I was missing out. I don't really? know why, yeah. That skateboarding culture, I love it and I want to be able to just hop on a board and like do a kickflip. Really? Almost as much as dunking a basketball. I would rather be able to do a kickflip than dunk a basketball. Really? Yes. I love skateboarding so much. Well, you could teach yourself that. I guess so, but I just I th- I'm worried about my weight, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Wouldn't that be something if you got in great shape and became a skateboarder? Yes. And went to the coast and really started, you know, doing yeah, that stuff. Absolutely. I can't imagine it happening. No, it probably won't. Well, that's a good list. Yeah. I like that list. I feel like what? I know a lot more about you well, now. Well, you too. Yeah. That's good. Well, yeah. I want music, car, sex, yeah. very guy, baseball. <laughs> my God. Very guy centric. Very yeah. guy centric, yeah. except for the dancing. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, guys I mean, do dance, know. but yeah, all of it really leads to yeah. sex, doesn't it? If you're yeah. great, if you play great piano, if you dance well, if you're that's, a it stud all leads athlete, to it. Yes. it all leads to exactly great sex. Yeah. This will not lead to great sex. This is just <laughs> the opposite, this, this actually, opposite of it. Yes. This is the square and the round. Yes, you listen yeah, to that. Yeah. I wouldn't imagine you would have great sex. I know. That's it. Yeah. All right. Well, that's good. I mean, you know, uh, I'm tired, so that's uh, sure. pretty yeah. well. I, I, I'm okay. And, and I was going to ask, now that football's over, are you mm-hmm. going to try to focus on getting the Oscar movies yeah. watched? Yeah, I am. Okay. Yeah. I've got a lot on the plate You've got here, like but... seven, to go, seven to go or eight yeah. or six to go. Seven to go. Okay. And uh, how long till the Oscars? A month? March 10th, I believe, is what the Oscars. Mm-hmm. So We're less than a month away. Yeah, less than a month away. I'm going to have to start watching those yeah, things. I think, you, I think you got time. You can do it. I'll probably do Barbie soon because it's yeah. a readily available, yeah. so I can get to that. Yeah. All right. And yeah. I will. I do want to okay. see all those Oscar movies. I've seen three of the ten, and you've seen them all. Mm-hmm. And we'll have our Oscar preview show. Absolutely, yes. In a month. 
All right, until then, until next week, great episode yes. today, BBJ, the square and the round.